Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Wendy here and it's time for Kinder Gym at Home. Today we're going to pretend to be grown-ups. But first we're going to get all warmed up, so we're going to start with our hello song. Let's all stand up. Stand up nice and tall, lift your hands up high and smile. Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Can you stretch up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, hello. Hello, hello, can you stamp your feet? Again, would you like to make some with me? Let's go. Let's all sit down. Can you sit down with your legs out wide? And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll the dough. So make sure my legs are wide and I'm going to roll the dough this way and I'm going to roll the dough in the middle and I'm going to roll the dough to this side and then back again we go. Now. Once I've rolled the dough out flat, I need pizza sauce. So I've got my bottle, I'm gonna tip it upside down and pizza sauce. What comes next? I know, cheese. We're gonna sprinkle the cheese. So can you take some cheese and can you sprinkle it? Can you sprinkle it in the middle? Can you sprinkle it over this side? Do you think that's enough cheese? I think so. What's next? Hmm, I know, ham. First of all, we've got to chop the ham. So chop, 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 chop. And then we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna sprinkle it. Make sure you get the edges. I don't like pizza without topping on all the sides. I've got ham and I've got cheese. And now, now some people don't like it, but I do. We're gonna put on some pineapple. So let's take the pineapple and sprinkle it here, not too much. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. So now we've got pineapple and ham. Who likes anchovies? Ugh, not me. Let's not put any anchovies on. I think that's enough. Now, we need to lean forward and open up the oven. And then we're gonna scoop up our pizza and we're gonna lean forward and put it in the oven right to the end. And then close the oven. Now, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. We've got to wait, we've got to wait. Is it ready yet, Mum? Ding, did you hear that? Pizza's ready. Let's take it out of the oven, pull out the pizza, and now we've got to chop it. Chop, 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 chop. And what's left? I know. It's time to eat it. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, nom. Yum. That was good. Boys and girls, have you ever wondered where the food that we eat comes from? Most of it comes from a farm. And today, I thought that I'd be a farmer. I thought I'd like to be an apple farmer. Did you know that apples grow on trees? And in order to pick the apples, we have to climb the tree. Could you climb the tree with me and can you reach up high to pick an apple? Very good. Can you reach up again and pick another apple? There's one over there. We might need to reach on one hand and pick an apple. And there's one over there. We're going to stand on this leg. Oh, a bit wobbly. And pick an apple. And when I've got enough apples, I'm going to get one for me. 
So I'm going to reach up, grab the apple, and rub, 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 rub. <sighs> Yum. A juicy red apple. Hmm. It looks like the potatoes are ready to be picked. Now, potatoes don't grow on trees. Potatoes are under the ground. Do you think you could help me dig them up? potatoes. Now I need to pick them up. But it's a little bit muddy so I think I might not want to get dirty toes. So how do you think I could pick them up? I know. Now first I need a bucket. So I've got a bucket and these are my potatoes. They're actually socks. But they look like potatoes. They could be potatoes. So they're my potatoes in the dirt and there's my bucket. Now, if I don't want to get muddy feet, I could maybe put them up here. What do you think? Huh, there we go. Now, I'm going to pick this one up, pick this one up and put it in. It tried to run away. And pick this one up with this hand and put it in. And this one up with this hand and put it in. And now I'm going to cross all the way over and get that one. And I'm going to cross all the way over here. And I'm going to get that one. Ah, one lucky last one left. And there we go. So there I have it. I have one, two, three, four, five six potatoes that I can take home and roast for dinner. Yum, yum. I work with some pretty amazing people and some of them are police officers. Now, I'd like to be a police officer. I might not be strong enough and I might not be fast enough and I might not be brave enough, but I'd still like to be one, maybe. If I want to be a police officer, I have to know how to run fast. And you run on the spot really fast. Let's see how fast we can go. Go! Whoop! Oh, maybe not quite fast enough, but I'll keep practicing. Being a police officer, I also need to be able to jump. Oh, look, here's a creek I'm going to jump over. Can you jump like me with my two legs together? And when I land, I need to do my motorbike landing, don't I? You ready? That wasn't too bad. Maybe I could be a police officer after all. <sighs> Except sometimes the fences that they have to climb over or jump over are quite tall and they can't just use their legs. They have to use their hands as well. A bit like this. Hands on the fence and jump. Jump. Huh. That wasn't too bad. I wonder if I can jump with two feet together. Hands on the fence. Jump. Jump. Oh, I think I could become a police officer after all. Boys and girls, do you like to build things? I wonder what it would be like to be a builder or a carpenter. Now a carpenter needs to be very good with his hammer and I know a song about a hammer and I think that in my dress up box I might have some hammers that I can use. Hmm, look, here we go. They're wooden spoons but they'll do as hammers. Would you like to sing the song with me? Let's sit down. Now the song goes like this, Johnny taps with one hammer, so we need to tap with one hand. Then he taps with two, and then he taps with three. So what we need to do is we need to lift up one foot and two hands. Then he taps with four. Hmm, lift my legs up. And then he taps with five but I've only got two hands and two feet. So how do I tap with five? 
I know I've got a hint. So let's see if we can tap with five. Ah, that worked. Are you ready to sing with me? Here we go. for joining me today boys and girls I had so much fun and I hope you did too but it's time for us to say goodbye now so can you sit in your tuck sit like me with your knees tucked up nice and high can you lift your hands up and make a fist we're going to sing goodbye open shut them open shut them give a little clap Wave goodbye to all my friends and hands lay in my lap. See you later. Bye.